Oh, we got I her. I got her. I got we her. Got her. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice fish. Look at Jason. that. Woo. Look at that. <laughs> You know, I tell you what, I love fishing for anything, but if there's one particular fish that really gets me excited, it would have to be lake trout. I love fishing for lake trout, especially through the ice. And one question that we get asked a lot is how to rig up a lake trout rod, spinning rods versus bait casting rods, and they all have their time and place, they all have their pros and cons. For really deep water, I still like to use a bait casting setup a lot. There's just a 36 inch Mackina rod, it's got a spiral wrap, it's a heavy action, and Again, a lot of times when you're lake trout fishing, especially when you're fishing deep, you want to have a heavier rod. I like to use a bait casting reel just for managing the line. You have a good drag and you know hit the button and down it goes. And you know, especially if you're fishing Great Lakes water where you're dealing with a lot of current, typically you're using a lot heavier stuff, whether it's tube jigs, whether it's spoons, beetles, whatever it is, you're using something that'll cut through that current a little bit more weight. And typically as well, when you're when you're fishing for a lake trout, either fishing outside, fishing off of a snowmobile, or fishing inside of a hub house, because a lot of times when you do set the hook, it's important to take a step or two back away from the holes you hook up, because again, you know, you might be 60, 70, 80 feet below the hole or more. You just get a lot better hookups if, you're, if you can stand up and back away from the hole versus sitting down. That's why when people are fishing lake trout, a lot of times they're fishing out of a hub house versus a flip over. Okay, so this bait casting setup has 14 pound Power Pro, which is a, with about a 10 foot piece of 14 pound fluorocarbon leader. I like to use that longer fluorocarbon when I'm fishing lake trout because a lot of times they are in clear water and sometimes these fish can be line shy. To tie the two knots together, I'm using an Alberto knot versus a swivel just so that that way I can reel it up into the spool. But on the bottom, I like to use just a heavy duty quality snap swivel that connects my lure. And again, the fish aren't shy to the snap swivel. When you're working those lures and these fish hit it, they're not concerned with the swivel. And so you can tie that swivel direct. I still like to use a spinning reel, especially on inland water, whether you know, you're out on Fort Peck or even Manitoba, you know, where say you're fishing, oh, less than 70 feet of water. And a lot of times you're using lighter stuff or you're not dealing with that strong current. A lot of times you're using like, this is a super leech flutter spoon with just a phenomenal spoon for lake trout fishing inland water. Then a lot of times I'm using a spinning rod. You know, again, you know, 45 inch Mackinac rod, long rod, give you a little bit extra leverage, 14 pound Power Pro, and then about a 10 foot liter of fluorocarbon, usually using a 14 to 20 pound test fluorocarbon liter. Again, I'm tying that braid to the fluorocarbon with an Alberto knot, but then on the bottom, I'm just using that heavy duty snap swivel. The reason I like to use a snap swivel on the bottom versus a swivel to connect my Power Pro to the leader, and so that way I can use a longer leader and I can reel it up into the spool without damaging my guides or damaging my reel. And so this is a super leech flutter spoon. That's just a deadly lure, whether you're on Fort Peck or up in Manitoba, Saskatchewan, that lure catches a lot of fish wherever we go. And by and large, if I could just use two lures right now across the, across the ice belt, it'd be that super leech flutter spoon, and then just your classic white tube jig. The size of the tube jig can depend on the fishery. Obviously you gotta use a heavier or bigger jig when you're fishing deeper water, when you're trying to cut through current, but uh, Tube jig and a, and a flutter spoon work really well for lake trout. You can also use glide baits, rattle baits. There's a lot of different things you can use. You can really experiment with the profiles. You don't have to use a tube jig. You can use just a regular bullet head and just put a soft plastic profile on there of some sort, whether it's a fluke tail or even a paddle tail. But between the soft plastics and the spoons, I would say that covers the gamut for, for jigging for lake trout. Obviously there's dead sticks and other things you can do with extra lines, but that setup will pretty much work wherever you fish for lake trout. But by large, you know, the thing that you're seeing, you know, no matter where you go, is that most people have switched over to braid. You know, for lake trout, when you're fishing deep water, you have a fish with a hard mouth, you're in deep water. Some provinces, you have to use barbless hooks. And so definitely use braided line. That fluorocarbon leader is another essential part of the equation because in a lot of these lakes, a lot of these fisheries, it's clear water visibility and just seems like you get bit more by using fluorocarbon on the business end. Now, how long that leader is can vary but uh, from my experiences, you want it at least five feet. And so that's why it's important to attach the two with the Alberto knot and then use a snap swivel on the bottom for the line twist. And again, when these fish come up on a tube or they come up on a spoon, if there's a snap swivel there, fish don't seem to care. And so again, when you're fishing for lake trout, you know, make sure that when you're reeling up or reeling down to the fish, you have your rod in a good spot for a hook set. And when you set that hook, don't be afraid to lay into them and try to take a step or two back from the hole. That's so important. So set that hook, crank, 
and get back from the hole, it seems like you'll hook up with a lot more fish, especially when you're dealing with deep fish.